The bird was seen swooping in on the smaller creature which had built a nest for its chicks on a rooftop in Barrett, Glasgow. Smashing it against the tiles, the girl tossed it up by its legs before swallowing it whole in front of its young. The gruesome encounter was captured by Doogie McColl, who said the predator was as large as an eagle. The poor starling chicks were forced to look on as the gull, ate their mother in front of them, repeatedly smashing the poor bird's body against the roof tiles, to break its bones before gulping it down, said Mr. McCall. The gull hangs out the back of our house all the time is pretty formidable. It stays close to the nests that the starlings build as it's easy to feed on the unaware parents and chicks and then take the scraps it requires. He added there were more birds behaving in the same way near their home, despite never having seen the creatures act so viciously before. To be honest, there is a lot of them, and it looks like they are carrying out a bit of a humane gull. While all gulls will feed on small, surface shoaling crustaceans and fish, some species eat anything that is of suitable size. They are often seen swooping on discarded food and litter around the coast with some traveling inland by around 10 kilometers to forage.